Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled conversation between the silent divine masculine and the divine feminine. I haven't done a reading, a channeled message of conversation between the divine masculine and divine feminine um, before. I've done shorts and put music over it for, uh, for YouTube and TikTok, but um, I thought I would see what wants to come through today and challenge myself because I've never done it before, but I think or feel as if there's lots that wants to be expressed between the silent divine masculine and the divine feminine. And through these messages, it does help you understand beautiful soul that's watching. You know, if you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine, it helps you understand what's going on within you, more and you understand on a deeper level more about this journey what it really is all about um so i'm going to start with the divine musk in the silence from beautiful liz from guided by angels so i'm going to get one card um to get a message from the divine musk in, and then i'm going to bring in the messages from the divine feminine i'm going to use the message tarot from beautiful liz also so i'm going to be back and forth with these decks to get this conversation up and running um thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you continuously give me i am so very grateful to each one of you and if you would like support on your awakening journey i am offering four different types of readings and one-to-one -one sessions my email is zoe aligning with my soul at gmail.com um, but everything you need to know about the services I offer is in the description box down below. So what is it this silent divine masculine would love to show and express to the divine feminine? Right now in this moment, what wants to be shared? Nice clear message, divine masculine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for things that have happened in the past, things I've said, the way I've behaved. I'm so sorry for letting you down. I want you to know this. So now I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine message, Tarot, to see how the Divine Feminines are, you know, how the Divine Feminine is responding to this message. I'm so sorry. What is it you would love to share and express, Divine Feminine, to your silent Divine Masculine? nice clear message so that one flipped out in between my legs so it wants to come through five of swords i'm a warrior of love of this love i will prevail yeah nothing is gonna get in my way hmm. i am a warrior of love i found that strength that love that is within me um i want you to know that divine masculine it doesn't matter what is going on in the physical in the 3d i always find that strength to carry on to push through and this is becoming more easier for me as i'm going along on this journey everything that has happened in the past everything you have said to me um that's confused me i'm pushing through that so let's see what else the divine masculine would love to share and express to the divine feminine what's going on in this silence divine masculine what is it you want your divine feminine to know so the Divine Feminines are feeling quite strong. And they want the Divine Masculines to know this. Um, so that's amazing. So what else can we find? This one flipped out again onto the floor. I'm frustrated about what I have not yet achieved. I'm so sorry for everything that's gone on. I'm trying to forgive myself, Divine Feminine. And at times I get so frustrated I put so much pressure on myself because I think I should be further along on my journey or, or I should have achieved so much more by now. Um, so really having to forgive themselves, the divine masculine, right now, really being hard on themselves and really being upfront and honest about the, their frustrations, <laughs> um, about that they, they want to achieve so much more. They want to get everything right before they actually show up before their divine feminine. So let's see what the divine feminine is I'm frustrated. I want to be able to give you everything. I want you to know how sorry I am. And the Divine Feminine is saying, well, it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm pushing through. I'm a warrior of love. I'm rising. 
I'm trusting myself, Divine Masculine. Let's see what else the Divine Feminines want to say. The Fool, I'm embracing the life of my dreams. Yeah, I'm going for it. I have this strong faith. I'm really believing in myself and in my dreams. And starting to feel worthy. That knowing that I am good enough. Um, and I'm embracing all of the challenges, all the different things that are thrown at me or presented to me being on this journey. I'm seeing them as blessings, as beautiful lessons. And I'm gaining so much strength through these lessons. And I'm just embracing everything. And I'm creating the life of my dreams because I know that I am the creator and I can create anything I want when I'm in my heart space, when I'm in my truth, the one masculine. Um, so that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The divine feminines are really um, in their power. So what is it the silent divine masculine wants to share now from that message from the divine feminine? So the divine masculines want the divine feminine to know that they are forgiving themselves and they want some forgiveness from their divine feminines and sharing what it is that they're actually up to in this silence by you know letting go of this what they haven't achieved yet what else is it that divine masculine would like to share and express i'm dealing with my family situation so i can be there for you yeah i am facing things and i wish that things we're unfolding a bit quicker than what they are. But I, I am dealing with things because I've been dealing with myself, facing those inner fears that I've been avoiding. I'm, I've had to face them and th this is a family situation. So if you are a divine feminine that is watching and your divine masculine is in a family situation where they're in a relationship, there's children involved, um, they are dealing with this situation. <laughs> And they're not just sitting there and ignoring this or trying to avoid it. They are actually facing it and they want to sort it out so they can give their all for you. So they can really show up for you. And this doesn't mean to say that there's other people involved. It, you know, that may not resonate with you. This is about family situations. It can be siblings. It can be the parents, um, family members that your divine masculine has had issues with. They're clearing that once and for all. They're dealing with it. But they wish and they get frustrated at times that things were going a bit quicker than they actually are um, and that they wish that they'd achieved so much more because, because they want to give their divine feminine the world <laughs> and that's what holds them back and gets in the way at times because they put this pressure on themselves and thinking that things have to be a certain way before they come forwards um so let's see what the divine feminines have got to say back to that so this situation is being sorted out. So that one flipped out, so I'm taking it. I'm confused and I don't know what's next. At times I get very confused by your behaviour because, you know, I'm, you, what you're sharing with me now is that you're frustrated. But that doesn't, you know, I don't know that that's always happening, Divine Masculine. So you confuse me with your behaviour of what's gone on in the past. Um... And I get very afraid at times. I don't know what's going to be next. But I'm learning to trust and embrace these different challenges. I'm working through the pain and seeing through the illusions. And I am seeing the bigger picture. I'm connected with that warrior that is within me. I'm, I am rising um, above the confusion. Um, and, you know, if your divine masculine, as I said, are, are in a family situation where they are with a partner and they've got children, that is very confusing for the divine feminines. But again, it's only confusing when you're in mind ego. Um, so let's see what the divine masculines have got to say back to this message. I, I'm confused and don't know what next when I see no change with your family situation it you know causes me a lot of pain but i am pushing through i'm not allowing anything to get in my way anymore so what else is it that divine masculine would love to show and express to the divine feminine 
what if I don't fit into your world? Yeah, what if I change my family situation and I actually speak my truth to you? What if I don't fit into your world? Because again, the divine masculine is seeing that the divine feminines are, you know, in their warrior. They're being the warrior of love. They're, they're, they are pushing and moving on um, in their life and going for their dreams and desires. Um, so the divine masculine is fearful about the differences maybe that are between you and they're usually ease on this twin flame journey so just put it into your situation but the way you live your life could be so different and again the ego wants to come and say well what about this what about that that's not going to work blah 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 but what you're learning in this preparation is that what what is important is the love um, and all of the worries, the fear comes from old beliefs, programming, conditioning. That's what you are clearly. So this is something that really worries the divine Muslims. What if I don't fit into your world? And especially now, because I can see that you're moving on from me. I know that you're in your power. Um, so let's see what the divine feminines have got to say to that. <laughs> I do get confused, but I'm pushing through divine masculine. I don't understand your behaviour at times. Um, so what else is it the divine feminines want to share now in this moment to the silent divine masculine that isn't showing up right now? Nice clear message. King of Wands, I know in my heart that you are loyal to me. Yeah, that is the truth. I do get attacked now and then by this confusion. Divine masculine. But I know in my heart. I know that you're loyal to me. And I know that you love me. And it frustrates me at times. What I see in the physical, in the 3D. But the fact that, you know, I can't see that you, you've changed. But again, when I'm in my heart space, I know that you've changed. Because I know the changes that are occurring within me. And the changes that I've I've been making in my life outside of me as well. I know that you're loyal to me. And we, we, we do fit beautifully together. You do fit into my world. Because you're my divine masculine. And anything that we felt that, that was in the way, we work through easily. <laughs> um, when we are actually in our heart space and not in our heads. We we're actually being honest, but I'm feeling quite powerful um, and it hasn't always been that way. I've had this confusion because of your behaviour, because of the way you deal with things, with this frustration. And I haven't been able to see this change with your family situation or whatever the situation is in your uh, on your journey, beautiful soul that's watching. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to get messages now because uh, this conversation is coming to an end. The Hierophant, I'm making a commitment to the higher path, yeah. I've made this commitment to myself. I'm not allowing this confusion to bring me down, to hold me back anymore. I'm trusting my heart, I'm trusting that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within me. No matter what you're doing in the 3D, in the physical divine masculine, being silent. <laughs> I'm pushing through and going for my dreams and desires and focusing on what it is that I actually want to achieve in life that makes me happy. Really being honest with myself and going for my true heart's desires. Um, so the Divine Feminines, I feel as if they've got to, a lot to express, the way the channeling come through. Um, and this commitment is absolutely amazing. So at the moment, the divine masculine, you know, in this silence, they're, they're facing a lot and they're dealing with a lot of fears, a lot of change. Um, and one of the big ones um, that you'd think that would be very easy is to forgive, to forgive self and to forgive things that have happened in their past as well. So this silent divine masculine has been quite hard on themselves, feeling this frustration putting so much pressure on themselves um, and they want things sorted out a lot quicker and then, they, then the fear comes in and 
um, is worried about what you know like I'm doing all this I'm, I'm working through so much and then what if I don't fit into my divine feminine's well because they seem to be doing so well <laughs> silent divine masculine is seeing their divine feminine as thriving doing really well for themselves they're not seeing this confusion that they've had at times because the divine feminines are seeing the bigger picture and pushing through and trusting that, their heart silent divine masculine is very sorry and the, and the divine feminines is responding with nothing is standing in my way this silence isn't getting to me anymore i understand on a deeper level i'm not falling for the confusion anymore i'm trusting and i'm creating the life of my dreams so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful conversation between the silent divine masculine and the divine feminine i do hope it resonates um, and you know this is could, could be what you're actually feeling right now if you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine that's watching um, so let me know in the comments down below if it does resonate and if you would like support all the information is in the description box down below and remember to stay focused to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.